A fix for dull colors in Corel Video Studio 2023 Ultimate. Corel Video Studio 22 and 23 do not use the best codecs for Apple's movie files or MOV files. When editing, I started to notice the colors were just not as vibrant as the original video. Here's a side-by-side -side screenshot. Video Studio on the left and Windows Media Player on the right, on the same PC. The color difference is remarkable. The copper grill is flat and almost blends in with the fence behind it. The blacks and the shadows are boring and the green from the ivy lacks the green from the ivy. All look better in Windows Media Player. The Corel processing looks like life is just not worth living. I did not use any filters on these screenshots. This is just the way the different apps present the same video. To prevent Video Studio from suiciding our MOV video's colors, we need to change the encoding on the video. That way, Video Studio is not using its default codecs for MOV files. Here's a view of the same video after recoding in Xmedia Recode, side by side with Video Studio's results. While still not as vibrant as the video presented from the iPhone or using Windows Media Player, it is much better than Corel Video Studio. The red inside the oven mitt, the blacks and the shadows, the copper of the grill all look better. So how can we make this improvement? Here are the steps to install the Xmedia Recode app and how to recode the video. This is a free app. Pause the video now and write down the link. I'll also post the link in the description. At the Xmedia download site, click on the 64-bit download link. The file will most likely be saved in your downloads folder. Do not click on the add choice crap. That will get you into a cycle of installing browser extensions and your life will never be happy again. After installing the application, here are the selections I made inside of Xmedia's Recode. Open your video file. Next, select the output format. Here I'm going to use YouTube's MP4 video extension. You want to match the resolution of your original. Next, highlight the row in the table for your video. Click Add to Queue. Down here you can choose your destination. Now click Encode. The file will be saved and you can use that one in your project. I hope this helps. Take care.